James from Portland, Oregon writes to me, I am a digital listener. Okay. <laughs> I stream most of my music and I use a USB connection from my laptop to my DAC. I recently tried a high-end connection, uh, a USB cable, and maybe I heard a difference? It's hard to say. I want to believe, but I also don't want to get pulled into the hype. Do USB cables really affect sound quality? If they do, what's actually happening electrically that changes the audio? And if not, why do so many people claim they do? Well, yikes. That's a pretty broad question. I'm not sure I can answer the whole thing for you. Yes, USB cables matter. I've told this story before probably way too many times, but you know what? You get to hear it again. We were at Expona, I don't know, four or five years ago, the big trade show, consumer show in Chicago, and could not get the system dialed in. Just couldn't do it. And we tried everything that we could think of and somebody noticed the USB cable connecting the DAC to the transport, which is we were playing uh, CDs at the time, was just the throwaway thing that we put into the box, uh, just a, a cheesy USB cable. Oh my God. And this is before we had deleted, eliminated the USB cable uh, by about as much as we could using, now we use an uh, HDMI cable with I squared S, and that's one of the reasons we did it. But anyway, to make a long story short, we called our friends at AudioQuest. Turned out somebody was on a plane. They put one of their higher end USB cables in their luggage, came to the room, switched over. There wasn't one person in the room that didn't go, whoa, 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 what, what, what just happened? What just happened? We changed the cable, the USB cable. So let's talk about USB for a minute. USB is by far the worst way to connect up digital audio. We see USB reclockers, we see USB hubs, we see all kinds of ways of the matrix, you know, everything that you can think of out there that uses USB, there is something to clean it up. USB connects up to a, usually to a computer and computers, whew, noisy little beasts. DACs don't particularly like them, and they don't sound particularly great. So if it's possible, do not connect with USB. If you are connecting with USB, absolutely use a high-end cable. AudioQuest makes some really good ones. Absolutely get yourself a reclocker, even a USB hub you can get those on Amazon for nothing. That helps a lot because it's actually, re if you get the right kind, it's reclocking, and that helps. I recommend, if you can, something like our Air Lens, that is a, a you know, because every computer out there can also, if it doesn't have to just go through USB, can also go on the network. And it can send it out through Rune, through some kind of program that you have, put it out over the network instead of USB, and then use like our air lens or some kind of network streamer to get the audio into the DAC and try to do it without USB. But if you are using USB, make sure it's a good cable. And that's one of the reasons why we've gotten away from it. We typically use, like I say, our I squared S outputs and inputs, and we use an HDMI cable to get that across. Okay, all right, hope that helps. Thanks.